Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption with the wife. Hello. So, after we stopped last time, I went and did a bit of gambling, a bit of hunting. I got myself an apartment, which is another place I can come to rest and restock on ammo and stuff. And I also unlocked this very, very nice gentleman's attire suit, which I will not be wearing for this playthrough. I'm glad. I like the other one better. Yeah. Each outfit has different effects, and that one allows you to enter very, very high-stakes poker games later on in the game. Oh. Unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm awful at poker, so I probably won't be playing any of that. But speaking of falling off the balcony, I'll show you a cool trick real quick. That guy was standing on the chair. Yeah, the, this game has its random glitches and stuff. A lot of times they're pretty amusing. Sherlock's amusing. Sherlock is amusing. We're talking about the cat, not the show. But the show's amusing, too. Alright, where's my horse? There it is. Are you going to jump on your horse? I am. Is it going to work? Yeah, it should if I nail it right. Yep. There we go. Nice. Landed on the horse. So I think we're going to go and see Bonnie and finish her last mission. At least I think it's the last mission before we go see the marshal. Awesome. Sherlock, what are you doing? Are you sniffing at? Speaking of Sherlock, mostly yeah. just animals. Super stoked we might get a corgi. Yes, we might be getting a corgi tomorrow. Or probably, you know, counting our chickens before they hatch. But still excited nonetheless. Yeah, we we're going to go meet the corgi tomorrow. And hopefully purchase said corgi. Yeah. Also, if you ever come to Soldatna and you've got a little bit more money than brains and fabulous taste buds, Firehouse Barbecue. Mm-hmm. Pretty delicious. They have really good brisket sandwiches. Yes, they do. Sherlock is loafing hardcore. He is. He's a loaf of white bread. <laughs> Fondue would be wheat bread, I think. Mm, I, I guess. More like mixed grain. Mixed grain? Yeah, because yeah, she's, you know, multicolored. Yeah. Or like one of those, a fruitcake. Totally a fruitcake. Is she a fruitcake? <laughs> yeah, she's a fruitcake. That doesn't surprise me. Oh. I saw a deer and I was thinking about shooting it. Oh. Deer, I'm glad you didn't. Well, deer meat sells pretty good, so. Oh. Uh, are we poor? Um. Yeah, we got $28. Meh. Although I raised and spent over a thousand to get that apartment. Uh, you can't really see it right now, but when I hop off of said horse, let me get closer to my apartment, because I don't think Bonnie's going to want to meet with us in the middle of the night. Yeah, there we go. I purchased that bandolier that's going across his chest so I can carry, oh. so I can carry more ammo. That's what those are called. Yeah, bandoliers. All yeah. right. And I also purchased a Winchester repeater and a double-barreled shotgun. Oh, Winchester, huh? Yep. So, yeah, I, I raised and spent quite a bit of money off of camera. So we were rich at one point, and then we went broke again. Because we were unfrugal? Well, I need all of this stuff. I mean, it's the Wild West. You need ammo and rifles and shotguns and other stuff. So do you think he was sitting down to take off his boots and stuff? Possibly. Because it looked like it would be pretty uncomfortable to go to sleep with a gun on your back. <laughs> yeah, I imagine he got undressed. I mean... His run is super giggly. Yeah. In, uh... Well, if you, if you do the tap run, it looks a bit better, but... Just, like, the little... Little sissy run. Yeah. Makes, makes, me, makes me happy. But, uh, in the Undead Nightmare expansion, your starting outfit is a set of pajamas. Nice. So I'm sure he has pajamas. Nice. I hope we get to watch that. Oh, we will. Come on. Might take it. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey, get him in there. Come on, come on. Hey, Amos. Hey, miss. 
I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're going to die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. I like that John is just one of those people who can walk into a situation and just instantly take control and do what needs to be done. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think That's somebody a good guy. is firing against me. Are you a religious man? Not any real so I work with. Sometimes I tell myself things like happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. It's gonna be difficult to talk in this weather. Stay close. We don't want to lose each other. Continue. Anyway, so I work with kids who uh, have behavioral issues. Oh, man, I feel like there's a thought. Oh, being able to de-escalate your client, as we call them, is a big feat in their own. And my current client that I work with, his de-escalation is often a game called Goat Simulation. Does he play Goat Simulator? He does. I've never actually played that game before. Me neither, but apparently you get to lick things that and goat. headbutt other goats. That makes sense. There's some game like that. I think it's Goat Simulator where you can actually like find Bigfoot or something like that. I did have it on my tablet once, and I didn't even really play it, so I deleted it. And now I have a client who loves it, and I'm like, wow, wish I had kept that. So then I could have been like, hey! You had a really good week. Let's go play Goat Simulator on my tablet. And then he would be so happy. And I would be happy because he would be happy. Get back there, cow. Keep moving. The cow just does not want to go to his home. And he probably wants to get under a tree and get out of this rain. And honestly, I don't blame him. Well, under a tree is a bad idea. There's lightning and thunder. Well. He's going to struck a tree. Yeah, just like that. No one ever said cows were smart. So. Okay, here we go. A lot of butt mashing. Let's go! Let's move it, Warhorse. We got our herd to stop. Okay. You all just stop moving. Let's go! Nope. Nope. Oh, crap. Come on now. Stop! <sighs> they would run themselves right off of a cliff. Is that what happens if yep. you don't stop them in time? Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's go. That's that's funny. Again, no one ever said cows were smart. Whoa there. Yeah, one. Hey. We should name it. My dad almost named me like Betty. Yeah. Or Becky. Or Betsy. But my mom said it reminded her of a cow. And wouldn't <laughs> let him do it. Ah, that was close. I don't Round blame her, I guess. Uh, there's one over here. Way over here. I guess this one that stopped early. Let's go! Hey, bud. What are you doing? Again, people, I swear this is not Farm Simulator. <laughs> Go to your home, cow. Go to your home. I will actually be shooting people later. We lose someone else? Yeah. At least they didn't go very far. Indeed. 
I hear Farm Simulator is actually a pretty good game. I wouldn't mind, like, I don't know. I feel like there's going to be, like, a boss cow. So you just, like, grab a hold of that cow and all the rest of the cows follow. I mean, I guess, I guess there technically is if you're talking about, like, a steer and stuff like that. You know, a big old, or a bull, I suppose. There's usually, as far as I know, and I someone will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but as far as a herd mentality, herd mentality goes, there's usually always one animal who's in charge, and it's usually the biggest, most aggressive of the bunch, hmm. which for cows is usually the, Here. yeah, the, or the bull, or whatever it's called. The man cow? Yeah, the man cow. <laughs> oh my god! I am tired of herding cows. Get to your home. Go, go. This is why I could never be a farmer. I don't have patience for stuff like this. I would have just roped it and tied it to my horse, personally. <laughs> but, you know, that's a herd. Yeah. No. No, don't you dare start lagging behind. I was so excited about the possibility of a corgi, I washed my hair on. Did you? Yeah. Did you do conditioner first or something? No, I didn't leave conditioner in long enough. Oh. I usually like shampoo my hair and then wash it out and then I use conditioner. Mm -hmm. And then like wash my body and my face and stuff. And then I washed the conditioner out. <laughs> and I was just like, I'm so excited! And totally washed the conditioner out first. Eh, well, whatever. At least it got in my hair. Yeah. Wanna close that gate, sir? All right. Yay, and none of them went over the, whatchamacallit, doodad place. The cliff. Yeah. So does your horse just automatically jump over those, or do you have to push a button? Um, you can push a button to make him jump, but normally he does it automatically. That's nice. All right, let's go take a nap, give a chance to let the weather clear up, and we'll go see the marshal. Collect some more ammo while I'm at it, maybe. Sweet. Yes, you do in fact have to save the game to make time pass. Just in case anyone was wondering. Oh, it's pretty outside. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it looks to be about... What is that? 5.45 a.m.? Yeah, Marshall should be open by the time I get into town. And riding my horse around lets me increase in stamina, so that's also not a bad thing. I could fast travel if I really wanted to, but meh. It's nice scenery, and what if you see a deer? Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on, turn it around. See a deer? No, I didn't see a deer, I saw a plant. And there's a deer. Can you harvest plants? I can. Nice. It's like Oblivion. Yeah. You collected some wild fever few. Yes, I did. Let's go see if I can find that deer real quick. And there it is. I go deer hunting. No, you don't really use flowers and meat for skin it already, will you? You don't use them for much in this game outside of selling, but you have different skills and challenges that you can level up by hunting certain animals and collecting certain plants. And eventually, I will be able to use those flowers to make uh, medicine, I think. I like how uh, clean your knife is when you put it away. <laughs> he probably does like the, uh, the samurai flick the blood off the blade kind of thing. There's an optional quest down there. Might might do that after we see the marshal. There's a bunch of side quests in this game that you can pursue. I like the trees. They look like they have depth. Yeah. All in all, there's very nice scenery in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's 
Oh, we get to see, get to visit this guy. This guy has a very interesting set of quests, which take place over the entire course of the campaign. Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. Wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine was drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thebes Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. Hmm. We can't actually access Thieves Landing yet, but we will. And I don't want to spoil anything about that guy in particular's quest line because the story that Quest tells is very, very open to interpretation, and I would like to get your opinion on it once we've seen the entire quest through. Alright. Yeah. I can't wait to see how, how good the scenery looks in Red Dead Redemption 2 when that comes out next year. I'm probably going to lose my soul to that game, I just want you to know that. But, honey, we might have a corgi. Well, the corgi can sit on the couch and play the game with me. What if we have a small offspring? <laughs> Whatever, forget that kid. I wish you people could see the look she's giving me right now. Sorry, person. Did you run him over? No, I just run, ran into him. Oh. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot them, mister. Shoot them. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking har. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. 
I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burned down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. And now I finally get an opportunity to shoot some people. Can you accidentally get on someone else's horse? Yep. Yeah. What happens if you do that? Usually nothing, unless it's a marshal, in which case they think you're trying to steal your horse and they'll shoot you. Huh. That ain't how the law works. Is that right, marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Long gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Shoulda Spring, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Home's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Come on. I wonder what you needed back in the day to be a sheriff. Like, was there a class you went to, or was it just like, oh, you're top dog, here, go ahead, be sheriff? Um, from what little I know, usually a marshal is appointed by a government figure. like. I don't actually know if there was any training, but they could be like, hey, you're, you know the law and you're good with a gun. Here, you're going to be marshal of this place. And then the marshal was thereby authorized to take on deputies as he saw fit. So I could be like, made a marshal and be like, here, honey, you're going to be my deputy. I'll do it. Let's make Move up to that wagon on your right. I'll cover you. Carson, take that bastard behind the crate. God damn it. Get to that crate. I got you covered. I got take that fella behind the rock, boy. I'll back you up to hell's back door, boy. Good. 
bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. You got some monies. I did. And more fame. And more honor. No, oh, fame and honor. Uh, what time is it in game? It's a little after six. All right. On a Tuesday? <laughs> well, I I don't think the marshal will be up for anything else by the time I get back to town, but I guess that means if they posted any bounties, I could do some bounty hunting. I'm also apparently going the wrong way. Excellent. I thought you were, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I figured you'd figure it out. Yeah. Again, I could have just fast traveled, but that's boring. Bored. Hey, oh, look out. Get out of my way, son. I like how the moon changes. Yeah. That guy's lurching. <laughs> well, since I'm here, I might as well make a bit more money, even though this is not bounty hunting. The next best thing. Oopsie. Sorry, pal. I like how it stays behind you, too. Oopsie. Is this how you earned money? Yeah, once you get up to uh, like the higher wagers, it gets ridiculously fast and complicated. This is gonna be easier than I thought. Ooh, that's eh. this is it. Darn it! What the hell? What am I doing wrong here? I think I started trying to go too fast. And you didn't even lose a face. I had it up here. You're lucky. That damn mm. looks permanent. Yeah. See? That's how it's done. Who's next? Sorry if I've gone quiet. I'm, like, super focused right now. That's all right. I'd be super focused, too. I'm afraid to talk. <laughs> good. Not good enough. There you go. I once saw a man cut his own pecker off trying a variation. Alright, final round. 
careful. Yep. I got 93 bucks riding on this. Oops. Too fast. Still too fast. Gotta slow down. Getting too hype. A game of guys would play. <laughs> Boom. Done. Good job, honey. Thank you. Oh. Oh, hell no. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop. Nope. You leave that lady alone. Time and leave him there? I mean, I could shoot him if you wanted me to. No, I just was wondering, like, does he go somewhere else? Do you, like, take him over to the sheriff's house or whatever? Sheriff's place? He's not a bounty, so, uh, no. I just kind of leave him there. Alright. Shouldn't have been messing with people anyway. It's about three in the morning. Whatever. I'll find something to occupy my time with. Yeah. yeah. Nothing to worry about. Doggo. Is there any movies playing right now? Hey, is the theater open at three in the morning? Yeah, let's watch a movie for two dollars. See what they got for us this time. Yeah, just catching a catching a 3 a.m. movie. It's probably a shinker shinker. <laughs> pain of a sinister expression. <laughs> a revitalizing swing. Oh god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All I got was to mine. Uh, mine. Some things are on fire, I think. Oh, well. <laughs> well, that, uh, turned morbid right quick. Tapeworms and cholera, holy crap. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what is <laughs> happening here? It's like pooping out worms. Cocaine's apparently a hell of a drug. Don't do cocaines. The sentiousness, huh?
they play different movies at different times? I don't know. I certainly hope so. This must be like the 3 a.m. movie. Tempestuous toothaches. Cocaines and... Oh, God, he just jacked her up on hallucinogens. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Ah, Anti-Saloon League, of course. Who else would plot such a sinister movie? That movie was terrifying. Well, beware of snake oil salesman. Got it. I understand. How much time do we waste in there? Yeah, about 30 minutes. All right. Whatever. What's up, lady? You have a question mark. to do to kill time until the marshal's open. I summon you, horse. Horsey, horsey, horsey. Alright, where am I going? Way up there. Okay. Got it. Let's roll. Or ride. Whatever. Yeah, that's, that, that's not a movie I would show my kids. Oh, thank you. I'm super glad you said that. You know, I, I, I take that back, actually. No, don't take it back. That's a movie, no. Well, I'd show it to them when they were, like, eh, around 13, I think. 15. F nah, well, I want, I'd want them to see it before they started high school. Be like, hey, here's the dangers of drugs, kids. Took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. <laughs> the path does not know where to go now that it's gone off the main road. <laughs> Do you want to hallucinate giant centipede creatures and then hack your mom to pieces with an axe? No? Then don't do drugs. Let's go. Oh, my little Sherlock. You're so cute. Post a picture of your kitty, of our cats. Indeed. Hmm. Search for clues. Clue and for looks? Yep. So we got a shoe, blood stain, and. How fresh. Oh, it looks like a bone. Okay, well, that took all of 30 minutes. Uh, if you complete this part of the encounter, a store is not over. Come back in, in the future. Alright, well, this seems like a good place to camp, right? 
He's, he's near this fresh puddle of blood and bone. Save. I am not made for sitting cross-legged. <laughs> Which is kind of sad because at carpet we sit crisscross. And I'm just not made for sitting like that. And for once we're going to fast travel. Even though it really wasn't that long of a ride back, but nah, whatever. Does what? your fast travel account for time as well? I'm not sure. It looks like a little bit of time has passed. It's about noon, and we went to bed around 3 and woke up 6 hours later. So, yeah, I guess a little bit of time passed via fast traveling. But if the marshal isn't open at noon... We got some troubles? Yeah, then there, something is wrong with their law enforcement. That building needs a little bit of construction. Yeah. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Do you think the overweight people were a rare sight back in the day? Not like around this time? Because you'd think you that you would have eaten more healthy if you don't have any of this processed food. Yeah. And especially if you lived out in the middle of nowhere, you'd <laughs> work for a living. Yeah. It's possible. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Never down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, <laughs> put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Come on. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal, neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouth city boy who never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? That's not I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land, bringing modernization and betterment to the West. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. What's the 10 out of 148? Is that your ammo? Yep. The 10 is how many I've got in the rifle right now. The 148 is what I have in reserve. Okay.
gonna go with you because I, I don't trust either of those two. Oh, that's a post. I think that was someone. No, I thought you're getting shot at. Yeah, I thought it was a gun that had glitched and was just standing straight up. <laughs> Steal their kills. Oh well. guys was packing a weapon that I didn't already have, then yes, I would gain a new weapon out of it. But you don't unlock new weapons too terribly often in this game. I'm also getting shot to pieces. Lovely. Or is your health by the red one? No, that's my, uh, my slow motion shot meter. Oh. You don't actually have a health bar in this game. You... It's just the screen? Yeah. This guy is a bullet sponge. I'm going to be surviving this, buddy. That's right, John. That That's exactly what we were doing. We were going for warning shots the entire time. That is a chest. I want to loot it. Thank you. Sweet. I think that if I was ever, like, using a gun, I'd probably go for sniping. Yeah? Well, I'm a distance away, so it's gonna be a lot harder for any other bad guys to hit me. I think I would stick to my revolvers. They're what I'm good at. Or shotguns. I like shotguns, too. I like being away from the fight. And that is perfectly understandable. I just happen to have a natural affinity for revolvers. I'm going to need you to stop shooting me. Thank you very much. We've been doing that so well so far. Are we still being stealthy? to give the first shot. I don't know. He said be stealthy, and I never really tried to be stealthy on this part before. Come on, come on. Come on. 
Well, okay, they see me. I tried. It didn't work. Burger. Yeah. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Wow. That was... Be again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free. Well, there's hostages. Probably should have said something before we came in shooting, but, Thanks, well, you know. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. We gotta go rescue that guy before we start recording. Okay. Uh, dear, I, I think you're gonna love Nigel West Dickens. He's such an entertaining character. Look, house. Yep. Now, how do I get out of this canyon? Alright. Where is... Way down there. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, looks like Frank will be here tomorrow morning. Okay. The cane. All right. Says it was supposed to show me the shortest path there. It's leading me on quite the roundabout. That's cool, though. That's cool. It's all good. I used to know this world like the back of my hand. And of course, tries to go over a cliff. No big deal. <laughs> Sherlock, what are you doing in my coat? He's gonna make it into a bed. And make it some dough out of it. Of course he would.
I'm giving him your phone number. Okay, that's fine. Because he said he's going to text when he comes out, and he said it'll be in the morning. But I'll probably be asleep. Yeah. I forgot how to spell probably. B R O B A B L Y. Thanks. I had a brain fart. It happens. Should be there anytime now. Those mountains look really nice. They do. Yeah, we're here. Alright. Ready for this, honey? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fucker, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh! Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? To Armadillo! Godspeed! Godspeed! Do you have, like, a time that you have to get there? Yeah. What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, my God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Pollard Twins! Walton's gang! I know who you are! Good Lord! Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. <laughs> well, at least General Practice is in nice shape. Yep. It must be new. Or he makes a lot of money. Yeah, poor thing. He had more honor. Alright, well, he's gonna need some time to heal up, so give me a chance to look around some other stuff. Still haven't posted the bounty I want them to. Man. Lame. 
guess I already did that and I just don't remember it. I don't think I've done that bounty already. Undiscovered outfit. Yeah. No, I just haven't posted the bounty yet. Oh. Okay, yeah, no, still still waiting on that bounty. Huh. Whatever. Well, that puts us at about an hour, so I think we're gonna call it here. Alright. Made some decent progress today. So is Armadillo the only place you stay at? Or? No. Okay. No, this this is just one small, like, like here's Armadillo. There's Bonnie's farm. There's also places you can stay here, here, here. And then way down here, I think there's one there, 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 there. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a pretty large world. There and there. Okay. We've only got access to this area. Like, everything inside the, uh, the river here. Mm -hmm. Like, th this is Thieves Landing, which is where we're supposed to go to talk to Top Hat Guy's friend. We won't have yeah. access to that until a bit later. And then we go south of the river down to Mexico, and then the last third, the third of the game takes place up north in uh, Great Plains. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty big world. We haven't... We have not explored terribly much yet. Uh, but John, John needs a nap. He's he's had a day. Just just uh, just just fall in that bed, John. Uh, sit down. It's rough going. Poor truth. Ah. Uh. All right, well, that's it. Thank everybody for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, donate to my Patreon page, and we will see you next time.